All right, hello and welcome to another episode of Elixir Drops. So I'm excited. Today we're going to learn about testing in Elixir. So uh, I've already made an app here, so we're just going to jump right into it. Um, it's a, I, I basically just wrote this gen server so we could have something to test. It, all it is is a queue. It, it can push things and onto the stack and pop them off. If you're not sure about gen servers, you can check out my other video. I explain how to write one of those. So how do we test this app, right? So, um, you know, when you, when you create a mixed new project, you're going to get a little, uh, a little uh, test file like this. And uh, all it is is a module that uses X unit case. And, um, and doc test is another thing that allows you to do inline sort of documentation that's also test. And I might do a different video on that. So we might write a test like this. We're going to test that something works. We're going to assert that our new function uh, creates a new queue. So we might uh, say something like this. And, uh, you know, I might go ahead and just say, well, um, let's see what this thing returns, right? And uh, uh, what does this thing do? So I'll, I'll go ahead and just write something to, to make it go to a string, mix test it, and then see what, see what it actually returned. Oh, that's right. Okay, I, for, I remember now. When you start up a gen server, it returns an okay tuple with a PID. So, uh, okay, well, how can we do this? Well, maybe we can, we can say, we'll go ahead and just capture that PID uh, like so. If I could type this morning. Um, and we'll set that to app new. And then we can say, um, you know, uh, we can use process info maybe to say, uh, you know, does this uh, registered name exist? And since we registered our app to be Q, uh, it should have that name. So maybe, maybe we do something like this. And actually, I think I have to write it a little bit differently. Yeah, it returns it in another tuple. So we'll just, so now we have our first test. Cool, and it works. Uh, so I keep, let's just keep going. We'll test the other functions. So we have a push function. It's an arity of one. It takes one argument. We want to make sure that that um, adds items to the tail of our queue. So we we'll write something like this, and we can just say uh, we'll start up another app. It's, you can assert that uh, when we push something into this, uh, we expect that the uh, like a list of items gets returned. And if we do that, we should see two tests pass. Uh, and we can, you know, do this again and maybe say another item gets in here and another item. Uh, so that's, that's another way to writing uh, tests. You just kind of, you call your functions that you're, that you're testing and you assert that they return the values you're expecting. So uh, we can keep going with pop. Pop is an arity of zero. It doesn't take any arguments. Uh, we want to make sure that when we call pop, it removes items from the head of our queue, not the tail. So we might say something like, oh, app new, uh, assert that when we call pop, uh, maybe we just want that item back. Oh, of course we have to push an item in there. So let's go ahead and do that. Push item one. And let's see if that worked. Test passed. That's some basic testing, but I wanted to show you uh, a little bit more about how we use X unit. So you can see here, there's a lot of, little bit of repetition on each function. I'm calling app new, um, and I have this little setup here. So we could have a setup block up top that actually, and in this, this, we can use this to pass uh, arguments down into uh, any function that we wish. So since we're calling app new in all of these, we, well, this setup block will run Now you can return either an okay to tuple with like the value that you want here. Um, or a map. A lot of people, it's kind of, I see a lot of maps in practice, so I would recommend doing that. So we could do something like this, where we just return the PID, and then in here, if we want that context, uh, you can grab it like this with any any name here, but you can also pattern match here. So I'm just gonna pattern match and grab the PID explicitly, and now I don't need this. And actually, I, I don't need to call app new in any of our tests. Uh, since we're doing that at the top level now in this setup block, uh, we can just, the test will still run as, as they, as you see. Um, also, well, I wanted to add another test here. So, you know, let's make sure that pop is empty or let's make sure that pop doesn't fail, uh, when you call it on an empty queue. So, uh, we can do the little TDD here. So we're already calling app new in the setup. So if we say uh, app pop here, nil, that's what we expect back. We run this and now I think it will work. So uh, lastly, with if you're coming from our spec, you notice that we have 
uh, two pop tests. So we can just kind of wrap these in a describe. And now we have a much cleaner test, right? So we have this wrap describe block for this function. We have two tests here. You could add more to push. Um, and, and that's basically it. You're just, you can do a little bit of setup at the top. Uh, you want to kind of use this style. You can pass in context and you want to assert that it's running and doing the things you want. Uh, so that's X unit testing in a nutshell. Hope you enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching. Bye.